Melan Sawona Ita. My name is Santo Lucifer Nick Tulo. And my name is Wandi, and I'm married to Santo Lucifer Nick Tulo. <laughs> we both have the privilege of serving as part of the team that is planting Fellowship City along with Reino and Mari Mea. We have two beautiful daughters. Kathy and Gia. <laughs> they keep our hands very busy, uh, but we love and enjoy them so much. One thing that I would want you to know about me is that I'm an avid sports supporter. Uh, particularly, my blood is blue. So I have the Chelsea blue and the Blue Bulls blue. I enjoy a game of pool. Um, I also enjoy strategy games, board games, particularly the likes of Risk and, and Settlers. I do not count Monopoly as one because Monopoly has polarized our home so much so that we're going to burn it the next time I see it. Yeah, the last time we played, I was just about to win, but unfortunately, my husband negotiated me out of a win, so we won't be seeing Monopoly anytime soon. Uh, but what I can say about myself, uh, I'm a very simple, down-to-earth person, and for a lot of people, that can be very scary. But if you don't know me, um, that's who I am, and I can't help being that way. Um, another thing that you might not know about me is that I... I'm a creative at heart. I enjoy and appreciate aesthetics. So I love design in any wave, shape or form, whether it be interior design, graphic design. I just appreciate um, how creativity comes together to create something beautiful. I became a Christian coming out of high school into varsity. Um, as I got to varsity, it was a new space, a new space for me to um, spend alone with God and getting to know who Jesus is um, and uh, why he has come and what he means to me that he's given me new life. And through that process, I joined a city group uh, on campus. Um, that was just basically a Bible study where different people from different churches and different walks of life will sort of come and engage the Bible. Um, one. Wednesday um, afternoon, the Bible study facilitator was not able to make it. Um, they asked me to lead. This was my first time leading, and there was two people coming from their church, I guess, coming to sort of see them in action, and they got the unlucky bit of seeing me in action. Um, so they saw me lead the Bible study. They were impressed with how I led, and afterwards they came to ask me questions. I still thought they were one of the students because they were both young. Um, but eventually I, I came to find out that they were not one of the students, but that they were um, coming to sort of see how the, the, the leadership on campus is, is going with regards to the main city group leader. They loved how I led, how I taught, um, and they started to draw closer to me, meaning we started to do more things together. They involved me in leading more of the Bible studies, they involved me in preaching in different spaces and that's sort of how I started to see the teaching gift um, and through that um, they helped me to to nurture this teaching gift where I got more opportunities to teach and um, to lead um, youth ministries or lead, lead young adults ministries um, I got the space to teach um, even in discipleship settings um, teach in, in band and, and production um, and that is how I got to discover my gift and how God has been using it as a lay person for the church, um, being plugged in, uh, playing always, but knowing my gift and knowing how I can get plugged in. Um, my story is a little bit similar to Santo's stories um, in the sense that in my first year of varsity, I, I became a Christian. And what God started to do within that time frame was basically to plug me into a student ministry, um, which was a very good student ministry in terms of growing us and leading us and shaping us um, to become disciples. And what that meant is I learned how to share my life and pour it out into the lives of other people. And during that process over a period of time, I realized that I have a, a gift of counseling people. Um, what God has laid within my heart, um, within the relationships that I've formulated, um, discipleship relationships that I've formulated over the years, and uh, and Him bringing people into my life, is that I am able to counsel people through their hardships and difficulties and, um, and spaces where maybe God is trying to grow them in a specific way and they're trying to discern and figure out what 
what it is and how God wants to lead him. Uh, I've seen God use their counseling gifts to help people out of difficult situations and, and help them trust um, in God in the worst of times and yeah and I, it's something that i've grown to enjoy uh, as i've realized it and yeah it's basically been a joy and i'm thankful for god um, to continually use me in different relationships um, to help people navigate uh, through difficult seasons knowing my gift has helped help me to know how best to love and serve the community. It's, it's helped me to know how to get plugged in. It's helped me to know where I can get plugged in. Um, because as one body of Christ, um, we are reflecting the bride of Christ, the unified um, with diversity bride of Christ to the city and to the world at large. Um, knowing my gifting has helped me understand how it is that I can play within the community. I think once we know what our gifting is, we're able to play in a way that is more efficient for the body because we learn how to equip the body in the best way and that is through using the gifts that God has given us. So the more we play, we encourage and we enable other people to also play. So this is a platform where all of us can play to the glory of God.